I'll warn you now, there could be some bad language. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. I have Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. The sun is over the yard arm, but I don't give a fuck because I'm drinking this shit. Excelsior Lager. Now, I vowed never to review supermarket beer again, but I saw a can of this and it was a pound in Lidl's today. I've got to stop going to that fucking dump. But I saw a can of this and I thought, <laughs> shall I review it? And I thought, yeah, I will. Now, I'm not really, I really, really have not got much hope. I've just reviewed the Weinstefan uh, Corbinian Doppelbock, and that was just amazing. That was a 10 out of 10. And talk about going from one extreme to the other. Now, I haven't got much hope for this, right? So, this could be a rent. But I'm going to do my best. This is a can of Excelsior, and do you know what? Right, Lidl's do Excelsior, Aldi's do Galahad, right? Now, I don't know if you're well up in your British mythology or not, but King Arthur, Sir Galahad was one of the Knights of the Round Table. Excalibur was the sword that King Arthur used. They've got a picture of a sword, but they've called it Excelsior, right? Now, the cynic in me thinks they can't even bother to research it and they heard a word. This is probably France, right? No offence if you're French, but for fuck's sake, stick to wine because you cannot fucking brew beer. I've not had a decent French beer. Not once. Not fucking once. They had that, was it, um, uh, what's that, what do they call that? Um, beer de garde, beer de garde. What a shitty fucking style of beer that is. That's just like... Everything, just get a shovel, scoop everything off the floor, throw it into a fucking a mash tun and call it beer. Horrible shit. Um, <laughs> do you know what? I've just looked on the side of this can. It's got widely recycled. And I'm guessing that the contents of this have been recycled out of some Frenchman's bladder, out of Mr. Froggy Cousteau's bladder. Produced in front... Hang on, this, this is the best one. Produced in France by EMB 54115D. That's a fucking prison number. Have they got the fucking French convicts brewing beer now? Brewed in France by EMB 54115D. What the fuck? I know what that is. That's some World Food Agency's code for a brewery. Now, if you're that embarrassed to put the brewery on the side of the can. What does it say for the contents? They've put a fucking code for the brewery. I mean, you, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes, you just got to get on the internet and, and have a look. But for fuck's sake, EMB, oh yeah, I had a great beer, who's it brewed by? EMB 54115, to me that's a, a fucking prison number. Or a fucking additive. Um, yeah, but, this was cheap, it was a pound. I'm gonna stop renting, I knew this was gonna be a rent. And do you know what? I can see the glass is dirty, but I don't give a fuck, because this doesn't this, this doesn't warrant, I haven't even named it yet. It could be brilliant, it could be the best beer I've ever tried. Let's stop renting. I can feel myself, my blood pressure, I can feel it going already. Let's just calm the fuck down, all right? Okay. I've got the uh, I've got the window open here, it is fucking sweltering out, so I go across the road, he's just set fire to his motor. Honestly, this estate is like fucking, if it was Shameless, look up Shameless, that's the estate I live on, but in Kent. Anyway, rent over. Oh, fucking calm down, calm the fuck down. Calm. Okay. What is this? 
Right, it's 440 mil. It's not even a fucking pint. They're fucking doing this on purpose to me. It's not even a pint. And that fucking loud cunt in the car. Shitty fucking exhaust. I'm gonna close the window. I'm just, they're probably gonna hear me. They'll be fucking, they'll, they'll, they'll get a posse up and fucking stick me on a pitchfork or something. Again, um, what is it? Okay, it's 440 mil. <laughs> Fuck off. It's 4%. It's called Excelsior. That's Latin for up. Yeah, I can think of a few adjectives with the word up in this. Um, it contains barley and wheat. Mm, thanks for that. Uh, produced in France. Oh, it's just the fucking alarm bells on this. Um, yeah, brewed to excellence. It's not even fucking good English. Brewed to excellence. That doesn't even make fucking sense. Brewed to excellence. All right, let's get this open. See, the fucking can. The fucking, even the can has got the amp with me. What does it smell like? Actually smells a bit spicy, fucking hell. Oh, I can't get much out of that, it's just got a lot of froth on the top of it. Let me get pour a bit out. Oh, there's, there's nothing. There's a little bit of spice and nothing else. Let's get it in the glass. I really shouldn't have done this, I know, but... You know, maybe one day they will surprise me. What does that smell like? It's reminding me of something. Is it it's some kind of malt, but they've... I'm hoping it's not... I don't know, it might be my imagination, but it smells like corn in the cob, which is not a good sign. That is residue from the brewing process, known as DMS. I'll explain that one day. You don't normally get that. You get that in really fucking cheap lagers, which this is. So alarm bells, as if they weren't ringing. The fucking bell's falling off the wall with this stuff. Now, this is cold. It's come out of the fridge. It actually doesn't look too bad. Look at that. Nice straw colour. Little carbonation on it. Nice head on it as well. Wish me luck. Let me try this one more time. Okay, I always, <clears throat> I always strive to be honest on these reviews, and <clears throat> you know I won't bullshit people, regardless of the reputation of beers. But this, I've actually tasted worse, believe me, and it's cost more as well. quite a light mouthfeel. In fact, I think that's probably the wheat that's doing that. But the mouthfeel is not bad at all. I will say that. It's, it's a bit devoid of flavour. But it's not the worst. I have tasted worse. Believe me. And this is unnerving me a bit. A beer from France that they can't even get the fucking grammar right, which is brewed by French prisoners. And it actually, I mean, it's not outstanding, don't get me wrong. But the mouthfeel is not too bad at all. And this is going to sound 
fucking wrong. But I've just reviewed that Corbinian and the mouthfeel on it initially was way too carbonated. Straight out of the can, this is not too bad at all. Mouthfeel wise, it's not too bad. It just lacks flavour. There's no, there's no real aftertaste. Maybe I'm being spoiled because I've just had the, as I say, just had the Corbinian and that is just a fucking flavour explosion. That got 10 out of 10. I'm not really getting much out of this. But it ain't the fucking worst lager in the world, I'll tell you that now. Do you know what, this is, this is funny, right? This was on the same, same shelf in Lidl's as the Innocent Gun Craft Lager. Now this was a lot cheaper than the Innocent Gun Craft Lager. And I reviewed that Innocent Gun Craft Lager and that was very, very fucking average for more money. Virtually double the price of this. And to be honest, there, there is difference flavour wise, but what's winning me over on this is the mouthfeel. It's really good. I've had good quality German lagers with a similar mouthfeel. Mm. I have to say, <laughs> I was all prepared to go into a rent, but this has been saved by the mouthfeel. If it was full of carbonation and just, you know, like space dust in my mouth, that would have been it, the floodgates would be open. But I'm going to give this a bit of a squeeze because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bowl me over with a flavour at all. But it's very easy drinking on a day like this, and it is fucking hot out there. It's up in the 80s. Or oh, I don't know what you lot use in Europe in the 20s, mid 20s, or something, I don't know. But this ain't bad. Ice cold. This would, you know, I could drink a few of these. I probably would have a hangover in the morning. But I've tasted some quality German lagers with a similar mouthfeel. And I was all prepared to give this a fucking 0 out of 10. But I'm not. Because this is not the worst beer in the world. It's not great, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this is, you know fucking amazing but i have tasted worse with a craft beer label calling itself craft lager and it's just been you know your average mouth horrible mouthfeel average taste and nothing else um i'm going to give this a a four out no i'll give it a five i'll give it a five and the five is purely for the mouthfeel on this it is up there with some of the best German lagers I've drank, mouthfeel wise. Flavour wise, it, there's, there's just nothing there. And to be honest, it's not doing anything wrong. It, it, you know, I really am trying to find fault with it. And the fault is there's no flavour, but there's nothing in there that's going, whoa, this is a fucking horrible beer. I'll give it a five out of 10, would I recommend it? Right, if you're going somewhere on a day like this, or you're having a barbecue, and you just want a cheap load of beer, you're on a budget, you could do worse. You could do a hell of a lot worse. Would I drink it again? No, I won't. I won't buy it again. But when I'm walking past the aisle, I'll just tip me, up, tip me out to it and just say, you know, not the worst in the world. And remember, beer is working class champagne. Yeah.